Pollen grains are the microscopic male reproductive structures of higher seed plants and houses the haploid male gametes. They are also known as microgametophytes and vary in shape and size across species. Pollen is formed in the anthers or in the microsporangia of the male cone through a process known as microsporogenesis. Generally speaking, a mature pollen grain has a double wall which encloses a cytoplasm along with a tube or vegetative nucleus and a generative nucleus. The inner wall of the pollen grain is made of thin, delicate cellulose material called endospore or intine. The outer wall, however, is tough, cuticularized and made of a chemically resistant biopolymer called sporopollenin. This layer is known as exospore or exine and in many species is richly ornamented. The sporopollenin coating protects the pollen grains as they are transported from the stamen or male cone to the pistil or female cone in a process known as pollination. When pollen reaches the pistil or female cone, a pollen tube is formed. At this point, the generative nucleus divides into two male nuclei, which then moves into the pollen tube. The tube elongates and transports the sperm nuclei to the ovule containing the female gametophyte. In this video, we will be performing a simple experiment to demonstrate the growth of pollen tube from pollen grains when exposed to an artificial pollen growth medium. For this experiment, we will need the following. Concentrated sucrose solution or a pollen growth medium. Glass lights and cover slips. A flower with mature dehyced anthers. Compound light microscope. Tweezers and pins. Begin the experiment by collecting a flower with mature dehyced anthers. Remove one anther and tap it on a glass light containing a drop of sucrose solution or a pollen growth medium in order to dislodge some of the pollen grains onto the medium in the slide. Cover the drop of sucrose containing pollen grains using a cover slip. Observe the slide under the microscope. You'll notice numerous pollen grains suspended in the sucrose solution. Observe one of the pollen grains under high power of the microscope. You can clearly discern the exine and intine layers of the pollen grain along with the pollen grain cellular contents. You may also notice a large tube nucleus along with a smaller generative nucleus. Leave the slide for several minutes and observe again. By now, you'll notice one short tube emerging from each of the pollen grains. As time progresses, the tube will gradually elongate. If you observe one of the pollen grains under high power of the microscope, you may be able to notice the pollen tube nucleus along with two smaller sperm nuclei at the tip of the pollen tubes. The two sperm nuclei or male gametes are a result of the division of the generative nucleus after the pollen grain germinates into a pollen tube. 